If we were to have a conversation about love, attraction, relationships between a man and a woman, how would that make you feel? What kind of feelings come to mind? And now between a man and a man? And now between a woman and a woman? And now between any kind of gender makes you could think. Now, I didn't say anything about intimacy or sex, but your mind probably went there. So whenever we talk about love, attraction, relationships, there are two like basic parts of the brain. We have the outer cortex, which is where our rational thinking happens. And then we have the limbic system, which is towards the middle of the midbrain. Um, and that is where, that's the seat of our emotions is what it's called. Now, when we try to have conversations about love, attraction, relationships, our mind, like, it goes towards the middle, away from our rational part. And I'll cite here, I'll put below a link to a Harvard article that kind of goes over this uh, in a conversational term, I guess. And, um, but in any case, the experience that I get to have in my own body has been a very interesting one, I think, because I live in a, uh, a heteronormative world, which means that mostly like the thing that is acceptable is a relationship between a man and a woman. But for as long as I can remember, just like looking at a man and a woman when they kiss is just something that is gross to me. And I don't really like, it just looks unattractive. Um, and I, but thankfully I have a lot of exposure living in a heteronormative world because I get all the time, there are people holding hands, pictures of families, like, um, I'm even in a heterosexual relationship. And so I have a lot of exposure where I have the time to get over that uncomfortable feeling that naturally comes. Um, and I think I was in my master's degree when I finally realized, um, and that was because like we live in a world where now there are opportunities to see other relationships um and i finally realized when like i actually felt comfortable watching um same gender couples show intimacy um, and express love and then i was like oh this is actually probably what heterosexual like that's their orientation what people see and feel when they see other people um expressing intimacy in that mix um so that was that was a fun little revelation uh but the the opportunity to be able to realize now because i go another exposure therapy that i do is i go to really or i go to what are they weddings where heterosexual people man woman like they get married and so the last two weddings that i've been to have been really nice because i've realized that like love is love and that they're excited to get married and to start a life together and so for me, I've been able to see the progress where my whole life, it was just something that I would bear because I love my friends. So I would go to their weddings um, and try to like be excited for them because it's something that they're excited about. Uh, but the more that I've understood that building love, uh, building relationships, expressing love and feeling that attraction, that like that, that does happen for people, even if it doesn't. Like, I cannot possibly project that feeling for them. Um, I am learning to receive it, like, understand that that's what they're feeling um, because of my orientation, so the way that I get to experience the world. So that was kind of fun. Um, but I do, like, I do want to know what your thoughts were towards the beginning when we were having that discussion. Like, did you feel emotions coming up with, with, with each one of those combinations? What are your thoughts? And then, so first thoughts that you had, uh, and then if you were able to go into your rational mind and kind of like reevaluate, um, was there any change or is it still just like, absolutely not, uh, except for that one that you identify with? Um, I would, I look forward to your comments and thoughts.